Right, camera's back in place now. <laughs> I knew there'd be an accident somewhere. It wasn't thankfully my fingers, but I did knock the phone off the actual stand. Right, so, as I said, I got half the head out with unfortunately a little bit of damage on this box. Right, so we need to get the other side out. I'm just gonna have to peel this tape off, whether I like it or not. Let's get in there, that's not the right piece. Nope. Come on. Mind you, to be honest, the box is damaged. I don't know why I'm fussing too much now. But I don't want to damage her as well. Right, I'm determined to get her out. I wonder if I can get her out without taking that out. It's going to have to be snipped there. Right, very carefully. I'm going to snip. There we go. Does she come out? Yeah, she's out. She's out. Let me put that poor piece of plastic away. As you can see, she's got lots of plastic on her. Again, very well protected. Let's take this hair piece off, this piece of fur stuff around her hair. Oh, and there's more plastic around her head. How do we get that off? Looks like it's in the hairline. Right, well, I'm going to cut it. Oh, no, hang on. There's a seam. There's a seam. So I can cut it on this seam. Try not to cut her hair another piece i've got a pile of plastic building up oh you can see her a little bit better now and i know she doesn't change the eyes but these eyes should move that's all that no do they move am i wrong oh no there's a piece of tape guess what piece another piece of sellotape yeah I'm presuming this means her eyes move there Whee! side to side so my son and daughter says they're creepy because their eyes move they are a little bit, they're still cute. Right, let's work out how to get all this off. Again, they just seem to be wrapped, a bit of sellotape. I can maybe slide the leg one off. Oh, this is fun. I'm hoping I can actually put these videos back together. So I've never actually sliced two pieces of video together. One leg. No, doesn't want to do it. Da -da, two legs. Everything oh, seems fine. She's got a little, a little something on her toe there. And there you can see it. Just need snipping off. It's just where the bit plastics got stuck out a little bit. Yeah. All right. Let's get the rest of her stuff off. Should we take her dress off? Maybe it would be easier. Right. Again, just velcroed. Nice and simple to get on and off, says me. There we go. Arms forward. Arms down. There we go. Now I can get, oh, put them back up. Now I can get to the rest of the plastic. It seems to go right up into her neck. Again, it protects. I do understand why they do it. It just makes life a little bit difficult. Poor impatient little people. Oh, Woody, I'm going to give a concussion in a minute. So careful because I don't want to scratch her. Right, so hopefully you'll be a bit more patient than me when you undo yours if you get one. And she'll like, oh, you'll have a bit more time. I mean, I could take longer, but I'm sure you don't want to sit watching me undo this for the rest of your evening. I mean, basically, we need to get her undressed so I can show you what she properly looks like. One of the things I'm still not sure about Blythe is the shiny face. You can see how shiny they are. I've watched a few YouTube videos where people have actually sort of matted them up. Um, I'm considering having a go because I do actually prefer it when I've seen people that have customised them and they've been matte faced. I'm happy with her makeup, so that should make it easier because I certainly don't want to have to do a face up. That's not something I'd be good enough at doing. Um, I mean, some of the work that some people do out there is absolutely outstanding, but I, I know I couldn't do that. Um, well, not at the moment anyway, but I was quite happy with a little face. I liked the colourings, a little brown eyeshadow, so a little pink cheeks and a dark pink mouth. 
The hair's nice. I'm hoping it'll settle a little bit more. So it looked more like a bob in the actual picture, which it is a bob, but it's just the way it's been packaged. So let's put her dress back on. Let's get her dressed up with everything and see what she looks like then. She's got a little red underskirt with this dress. We put her boots on now, so we put your boots on. Which is which foot? We do have a right and a left foot. That's one. Two. They just slip on easily. Little cape. This also might push your hair back down into place. All right, it looks, it's a button and loop fastening, but the loop is elastic, so it shouldn't be too bad, I'm hoping. I hate fiddly buttons. They look amazing, but they're hard work. Bit of fluff under that. All right, so let's see how fiddly. Get it into place. Button across. It's quite a large button for such a little tiny thing. That's it. So I've gone from the bottom up and it's slid over. So you can see how that fits over her shoulder. Her back wings have dropped off the back. Pop them back on. There we go. She's got her little wings. And a stand like any stand is going to be going round the waist. You could either go over or under. And of course, she's got her little trident. She can't actually hold that. I'm not quite sure. I think I'd have to just sort of stand in front of her, perhaps if she was on display. And hold it. Or if you're wanting to pose her, perhaps a little bit of blue tack to hold it in place or something like that. Let me take the stand back up. And you see the stand is got the blithe written. It's really hard to see on these because they're black, but it's got blithe written across it. And obviously the brand on the bottom. But I am pleased with that. Curious to know whether the hats I make are going to be the right size. I've got a feeling the hats I make for the pullips and that, um, my smart doll, were going to be the right size for the Blythe. But this one's a little bit smaller than I anticipated head-wise. So I've actually got a smart doll hat here. I think it's going to be too big. Oh, that might look quite cute. <laughs> she sort of looks cute in it, actually. It's big. Let's have a look. We've got a few others here. We've got a unicorn one. Not quite matching her uh, gothy look, but yeah, these are too big. But it does give me an excuse to have a go at making some other little hats. Another one, little peak hat. That I probably could get. It's more like a bow peep hat, not a peak hat on her. But you could probably get away with it. Maybe the pl plain simple yeah they are too big aren't they so i am gonna have to make some uh, little hats for midi blithes but the patterns are easy enough to do in a smaller size most of them i do from uh, a pippa size up i do actually quite like that one though it is big but it looks okay i think so we'll have to see what we can make for her and then hopefully i need to give this hair a little brush i think it's very soft though i must admit very very soft um and sort of flatten it down a little bit. I'm hoping to be able to now put those two pieces of video together and hopefully you'll actually see a box opening rather than just a doll. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all the little bits that we're hoping that you'll do and hope to see you soon. Bye.